debt coverage ratio is a ratio that you're going to need to understand. It's, it's important for your lender. And what that means is the net operating income covers your primary debt service. So in this case, line 32 is 1.7 times more than 35. Does that make sense? A lender probably won't give you a loan with a 1.25 debt service or less. So if your NOI is 100 grand and your mortgage payments are 100 grand, they're not going to do that loan, right? This is where your income requirements come into place as opposed to what you personally make. Does that make sense? So they're not going to necessarily look at like, no, in fact, in commercial loans, they're not going to say, Robert, how much money do you make this year? They're going to ask it, but it's not going to be weighed. It doesn't matter to the amount of the loan. You can get a five or ten million dollar loan based on the income of a property. It has no, doesn't have anything to do with your personal income, right? And and, uh, and so that's how that that's how that goes around. Um, so that's debt coverage ratio, and that's really all you need to know about debt coverage ratio. That's what banks use it for. One two five or above, and you can probably get a loan. One point two five or less, and you probably aren't going to get a loan, or you're going to get a loan with a lower loan to value.